passionate about mental health, but I would say I'm also somebody who burns with a fire inside. So welcome back to Julie's Vlog Dag React. So for today's vlog, we will be doing another uh, reaction. This is just a continuation of the preliminary Q&A of the Miss Universe 2020. Although it was already concluded, the Miss Iloilo won on this competition. But this is just the best of the best that I saw during the uh, preliminary Q&A. Because these young ladies, guys, did a fantastic and phenomenal job in answering the question. These are the best guys. And now we will be reacting about uh, Paranyaki of did a nice performance during the q and a it's so amazing the aura was so let's see guys i really want to hear your thoughts and comments after watching this performance the way how she answered also those questions throw at her and then i would like to shout out also the owner of this video glenn cuevas thank you so much also for sharing this video to us so that i can do my reaction also and i can do my side so before that we will start with our video reaction i would like to shout out to the people who watched with our video reaction to Miss Surigao del Norte, Cariza Rosil Kiza. So if you want to watch that video, guys, I'll put the link uh, up in here. So watch it, guys. So big, big shout out to the people who watched with that one. Samarinha Blood, Kyle Walls, Chris and Tracy, Awesome Joe TV, DJ Dionis, Grada Fighter, Prisky Den, Sophia Shares, Mia Lourdes Moradas. Thank you so much, guys, for coming and watching also with my video reaction and i hope you'll be supporting also with uh, the owner of the video i hope you'll be having fun watching with this one guys uh, this is miss paranyaki uh, isabella ismael let's watch it guys how isabella ismael did a nice performance on this uh, preliminary interview of the miss universe philippines 2020. passing your set though I don't know if it's because it's cold or if I'm nervous, but I'm looking forward to this. I've prepared and I feel ready. Dos aura, like a beauty queen already. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right. Very loud. Okay. Louder than long. Wow. Okay. Hi, my name is Isabella Rojas Ismael, but you may call me Bella as everybody else does. Bella. You may know me as a ballerina. I am also a psychology major and I'm very passionate about mental health. But I would say I'm also somebody who burns with a fire and inside. I think this is not expected of me because I look very calm and collected all the time. I look, I look wow. shy sometimes. And I say that because I'm somebody who just burns with her own fi fire and I'd say that's my strength. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Psychology. Ooh. Oh my. Ballerina. Hmm. Well, I speak Tagalog, and one of my favorite words is actually kilig. Because this is something that we can't really explain in English. There's a similar word, it's called giddy. But there's no explanation or no feeling like kilig. Mm. And it's something that I feel every time I take a step here, every time I feel like I'm so beautiful and confident. And it's something that I'd like to make people feel also when they meet me. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 she was the first runner up, guys. I grew up dancing ballet because I started at four years old. And one of the most important things that I've learned is to learn how to be yourself in every situation that you're put in. So, this is actually my first national pageant, so it's new to me. However, as Good we've gone through the different challenges, I've learned how to apply it myself in the situation and I've learned how to grow and to shine as Isabella Ismael. That's the beauty that I've learned as a child in ballet where you have techniques, but you learn your own art, you learn your own I style. Agree. <laughs> Allow me to cut it guys because the way how she answered, I, I felt so emotional and then I'm chilling also because it's like it goosebumps. You can see how she answered with those questions throw at her. It's like so the most uh, the most relaxed 
the most relaxed ano siya, contestants in during that uh, preliminary Q&A interview and very confident and very comfortable also. My God, why she didn't wi- win on that competition, on this competition? She's so nice, guys. I loved her. Her beauty, her aura, her glamour. Oh my God. During the pandemic, admittedly, of course, it wasn't easy for any of us. However, I was able to actually connect with myself. And as a beauty queen, you would expect somebody to be confident, to know exactly who she is. But it's not always the case. I was able to take time to meditate. I was able to take time to listen to myself. And I realized the value of knowing who you are. And I'm able to take that with me to today. You know, my outfit, this is me. It's pink, it's floral, it's ballet-ish. But, you know, I feel very confident as myself. And I'm proud of that. Isabella, if you win, how do you plan to help your community? Well, I am very, very passionate about the mental health community. And I have a few people who are very close to me who go through mental illnesses. One of the things that I've learned is that it's not just those who suffer with the sickness who have a hard time, but it's also their families. And I would love to partner up with an organization and probably create a program or maybe support groups, not just for the person who's sick, but for their families, how they can cope, how they can help each other out and how they can take care of themselves as well, because it's not easy and we need to help each other out. What color do you think symbolizes the I would say blue. Blue, I know to be royal blue. I would say it's something that is so strong. It comes out confident and strong. However, it's also very warm, it's inviting, and it's something that you can trust. That's how I see the color blue. And a phenomenal woman is somebody who's confident in herself, is somebody who is calm, but is also somebody that you can trust to represent you, to tell your story. And that's why if I were to be the phenomenal woman, I would wear blue in in everything. is now part of the movement. So what do you think are the skills needed in this the so-called workplace. workplace of the future? Actually, I would say it's knowing how to rest and to take breaks. Working from home, we have less boundaries. We have the bedroom and then the workplace, and that's difficult. This is something that we can take even after the pandemic, even when we can go back to the normal life. We can take the learning of learning how to rest, knowing when to listen to your body, knowing when it's time for a break, because this will help us do better, this will help us develop, and this will help us understand ourselves even more. If there's one spot or one place, whether man-made or natural, that you want to promote in Paranaque, what would that be? In Paranaque, there's this place called the El Pipichea, and it's actually a bird sanctuary, and there are a lot of mangroves there too. It's very good for the environment, and I would love to promote that because I think it's very underrated, especially in Paranaque City. We're more focused on the modern side, but I think I would like to take everybody back to the traditional Paranaque, to the natural Paranaque. That's something that I would definitely talk about more, something that I would even visit. And right now it's being worked on, so hopefully when that's done, I can do more work there. Um, you know, you know, there's a campaign now to hashtag uh, Love Local. Yes. I'd like to know what local products you want to promote and why. I would love to promote the binka. It's a food from Paranaque. It's uh, it's a rice dessert, and it's one of the best rice desserts I've ever tried. And you know, I'm Filipina. I was born and raised in Paranaque, but I just tried it earlier earlier this year. It was something revolutionary, and I think a lot of people should try it out because not only is it, you know, it's des- it's delicious, but it's also full of culture. You can see the hard work that's put into it. You can see the Filipino culture that's in it, and I think that's something that we should be proud of, especially me as a Paranaquenia. Well, one last question for you is, what is that one thing you think that young people should focus on? I would say young people should focus on their mental health. I'm very happy to see that it's something that is becoming more popular, it's a trend. However, when the trend fades, I would love for them to continue on with taking care of their mental health. It's something that I do every day, and I'm not perfect. Nobody is. And I would love for the younger ones to know that. As they grow up, as they go through different struggles and challenges it's important to talk so well and to make make sure that we are mentally stable thank you 
Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I hope I calmed you all. Wow. That's very nice, guys. Uh, Bella, you did a fantastic job. A phenomenal job. You're such a very confident woman. The way how you answered is like a true queen also. Your aura is like a beauty queen already. I know that there's always a uh, time for you to win in the competition. I wish that you will be joining again next year. I know that you will uh, you will get the crown because your aura, the way how you answered, so professional, so brilliant, so eloquent also. Everything, your glamour, your we. I'm happy ako sa performance mo, Bella. Everything was so perfect for me. It's like it's jaw-dropping for me watching your performance, uh, answering this question. Whew. Thank you so much. A pageant fanatic uh, person. So I'm happy watching with your performance also. Guys, I did some cuts with that video. If you want to see the full video, it's on the description box below. And if you like this video, guys, same as I did, just give a massive thumbs up. Like and share and subscribe also with my channel. And this is Junius Vlogadag saying, stay humble, stay positive, guys. Bye! And see you in my next video reaction for the preliminary Q&A, Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Bye-bye, guys!